This video you're watching right now might actually end up making more money than my most viewed video of all time. But how? It's complicated. The year was 2019 and I posted this video and this comment and proceeded to not shut up about it. So how much money did my Billie Eilish video actually make? Let's find out. But first, there's a bunch of fun stats I want to share. Statistic, yep. Statistic, yep. The most viewed country was the US, of course, followed by Germany, Russia, United Kingdom and Brazil. But there's a lot of interesting stuff to see here. In the US, which state watched more? The big ones. California, Texas, New York, Florida. So the video itself is only 46 seconds long. But the people who watched it longer obviously liked it more on average. So we can see California here at the top, only 45 seconds. While Texas liked it more, 46 seconds. Hell yeah, go Texas. And we scroll down 44 seconds, Michigan. Michigan hates my videos. At the very bottom with only 17,000 views, we have Vermont with 44 seconds watched on average. F you Vermont. The viewer age average was between 18 and 24. And then a bit older than that, and then we have 1% of viewers over 65. And 1% in this case is what? 900,000 people. So that's a lot of elderly people. Shout out to the elderly. My video is for the boys, 81.8%. An interesting stat. Look at graph. Out of the 92.5 million views, 80 million were from non-subscribers, while 12 million views were from subscribers. I have 4 million subscribers. This means, mathematically, that my average subscriber has watched this video three times. And they watched one second longer than the entire length of the video, on average. Most of the views, 58.2% came from the homepage, but there were also a lot of YouTube searches and to watch, the most searched one was Bad Guy followed by Seth Everman and then Bad Guy Billie Eilish. I want to see the terms that were searched slightly less. And to do that, I have to export this. So here we have it exported into an Excel file. We have 645 people who simply searched songs. And they got to my video somehow. Bay Guy, 657 people. I Bad Guy, 665 people. Guy. 668 people. Bad GUI. So 792 people looking up PC tutorials got to my video. Billy Eilish Hot. 947 people. Bald man. <laughs> Bald man. 1,123 people. Megalovania. 1337 people got to my video by searching Megalovania. And this is not edited. 1,402 people really wanted to hear a cover, so they just searched cover. Didn't really matter what kind of song, just cover. They did not want to hear the original. Old Town Road Deutsch. 1,602 people got to my Billie Eilish bad guy cover. I'm not German. My video was not about Old Town Road. 3,071 people had intestinal problems and searched bad gut, but ended up on my video. And then if we go into the geography, I want to see which locations had the least views. With 10 views, we have the Gambia. I wonder if one of these ghost people watched my video. Maybe the drivers of these ghost cars. Then we have YT, 13 people from YT. I've literally never heard of this. Mayot, Mayot, Mayot. 13 people from Mayot watched my video. Let's see who they were. If one of you watched my video, please leave a comment. Shout out to Mayot. With 14 viewers, we have SJ. Oh, of course, Svalbard and Jan Mayen. If any of you watched my video, please leave a comment. Wow, this looks really cool actually. Did you watch my video? Do people actually live here? 2,642 people. Wait, how many views did I get from there? 14. The maps. Half a percent of the population of Svalbard watched my video. Impressive. Then we have RW, 
21 people. I'm guessing this is Rwanda. Let me see. Rwanda. These are like my demographic, the age, maybe. They might be 18. If you watched my video and you ride this sick bicycle, green with a bunch of colors on it, and you and your friend wear white and also a yellow reflective vest, please leave a comment. 26 people watched my video from WS. Samoa, of course, WS stands for Samoa. Wow. Damn, this place is actually so beautiful. If you live in this hut and you watched my video, please leave a comment, I really want to know. Did you know that The Sims 4 is free now? You can just like get The Sims 4. They're just giving it away for free. And this is not related to anything and I'm not sponsored by The Sims 4. I just thought everyone should know. I want to know what the most watched day and the least watched day was. Especially the least watched day. So the most watched was April 16th with 1.6 million views. The least watched day was November 21st, 1,785 views. I fell off. So right now, the video is getting about 2,000 views a day. And we're at, what, 92.5 million views. How long until the video hits 100 million views? So in a short 3,750 days, my video will hit 100 million views. That is only 10 years. There are actually some fun things to talk about here because things such as the Super Bowl gets about 100 million views. And to have an ad at the Super Bowl, a commercial play, I think it costs something like half a million per 30 seconds. Yeah, so like five point something million dollars for 30 seconds of commercials. So I basically have 8.4 million dollars worth of ads towards Billie Eilish and her music video Bad Guy. I kind of low-key feel like it's a bit weird how the YouTube ad revenue system works because like a crappy quality video that is longer than eight minutes gets way more ad revenue. Like, okay, first and foremost, let's announce how much money this video made in total. With 92.5 million views, this video made $31,410.88. And 11,035% came from YouTube premium revenue. So the ad revenue was pretty bad. That averages out to what? Per 1,000 views, I got paid on average about 33 cents per 1,000 views. That's my CPM, which is very low. Like, I feel like the average a YouTuber would make per 1,000 views is about two, three dollars. If you make videos about the financial market, for example, you can get up to, I've seen $30 or more than $30 per 1,000 views. So let's say my video did a nice, you know, $10 per 1,000 views. I would have made $950,000 instead of 31,000. If I posted a normal average as video, and got paid like $3 per 1,000 views. A financial video that gets 1 million views and is like 8, 10 minutes long can get paid more than this video. And since this video I'm making right now is kind of financial, can you, okay, please leave a comment that is finance related so we can trick YouTube into thinking this is a financial video. Thank you. If you're extremely bored, which you are, you can go to my subreddit and just post memes and I can make content from that and we can make financial related content together and I can make $30 per 1000 views and together we can purchase the entire globe. We can become an economy. Thank you. Please post memes here. I will be going through them and to the rest of you, you should all search by new and just upvote the good memes. Reddit.com slash r slash Seth Everman. If this video, I mean, this video is a financial video. It is about ad revenue and making money on YouTube. Therefore, the ad revenue and CPM will be really high. So if this video gets a million views and it's got that high CPM, I might actually make more money right now from this than from my most viewed video of all time. Is the current ad revenue system a bit wonky? It needs a bit fixing. I feel like maybe quality over quantity, so maybe quality content over the length of the video should at least have some sort of like, like factor into how much you get paid. It's a hard thing to do, but I think they should. I'm definitely not biased at all.
I've spent the last few weeks crafting a course on how to make viral YouTube videos. I feel like so many people sell courses uh, to make money like as some sort of weird scam because most courses are about making money and if those people making the courses were actually rich, they wouldn't have to sell courses. This is a course about how to make viral stuff, viral videos, which is something I have done over and over again. And I think I have everything down how to repeat that success, how to repeat that virality or whatever. This is a course I made for someone like my own younger self, because I spent 10 years trying to become a YouTuber, just failing over and over again and making every sort of video you possibly could imagine. And if I had a course like this, I could probably have become a YouTuber in three years instead of 10. I went through a bunch of videos actually about, and courses, about making YouTube videos, about becoming a YouTuber. And almost all of them are about the details, you know, the film making itself, the video making, you know, script writing, camera equipment, which is in my course as well. But what they don't have is how to actually get the views, how to get the engagement, you know, shares and whatever. Um, and I think, honestly, they don't know how they are doing that. I think they just happened to have, like, gotten lucky when they blew up themselves. And now they're just like building on that. They have the subscriber base or whatever. But I think I actually know how to go viral from like scratch from an account with a hundred viewers, you know, just having your subscribers, your millions of subscribers and posting content that isn't really viral. It's just like your subscribers keep watching it. I feel like I know pretty well how to make a video get views, how to make a tweet get likes and how a comment can get likes. I also put my own life story into this course. So if you just wanna know more about me and my entire life, that is unfortunately in there as well. Everything I know and my entire life story in 15 video lessons, $25. $25, that's cheap as hell to be honest. SethEverman.com slash course. That is all.